Hey folks, how you doing? I have a couple things I want to show you today and I'll maybe talk a little bit, not too much. Damn, where did I put it? <laughs> oh, here it is. I was working on the, I got the order from, uh, I don't know if he's, I guess, I hope he's a viewer because I'm gonna link him the video, show him, explain, I'm gonna explain in the video. It's kind of funny. You know how many things, a lot of things were invented by accident and this shit actually came out pretty sweet also by accident uh, little story it's the Ontario cookery knife that's the one that actually started off my saying don't cut yourself this is the bad boy that got me <laughs> and uh, I did the shit you know everything and I knew I have to keep uh, if you watch the cookery style knife tutorial you you know you know you will see that I you know say that it has to be you know same width as the, the thickest part of the blade, the widest part of the blade and I was trying to do the same thing but I actually ended up being a little too close and uh, it was very tight, it was super tight I almost couldn't get the knife out of there and especially because the Ontario Ontario knife, Kukri has uh, that angle corner on the top of spine not, not round like I think cold steel Kukri but angled and uh, that was also causing the problems and you know it's a big shit and it was a lot of work so I was trying to fix it up to get the shit really good without having to do another shit you know I'm gonna be honest <laughs> I tried to fix something what I messed up kinda and I actually remembered one video one, uh, one viewer sent me when I was doing the cool crystal shit and uh, I, I remember that there was a, you know the way they do the leather sheets is you have this closed and this top part is open so you kinda pull out the knife upwards you know kinda like if I would show it like this you have the knife like this right and you pull it up upwards because the top part is open so what I did is I removed the two three three top rivets it still has greater tension you still have plenty of holes on the bottom to mount any type of uh, attachments, tech lug, model lug, whatever and uh, it gives that, that knife really nice easy, really 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 fluent motion to get it out uh, did the belt loop, I think in my opinion that's the best way to carry such big knives belt loop, cross draw carry with the leg strap on the bottom and I did little little paracord work around just I don't know just out of the long while and this actually lets you put uh, you know nylon webbing something like this with a clip for uh, you know for a uh, Tyric which is it came out pretty sweet I gotta link this video to the customer to see if he's fine with it but I actually I like this shit I think the, sh the shape is really nice, you see nice really round copying the blade and it just works perfect, it has good retention, it's not, this is not the shit that you would carry upside down, it would, it would shake out, if I would shake it out, it would shake it out, but you want a nice easy retention, you don't want to fight with such a big knife too, getting it out, it's, you can get hurt with it, it works nice, so let's see what he will say, but I think he should be happy because the shit came out really nice. These big sheets you don't need no thumb ramp because you're just grabbing it by hand and pulling it out. And it worked out nice I think. Another thing, I have the knife I showed you yesterday in the sharpening video. I did the sheet for it and it came out really sweet. I love the color combination. OD green with those green colored handles came out sweet. And the one thing I didn't say to a lot of people actually. Uh, I think everybody who got the custom knife from me on the Christmas sale I threw in a couple different extra things I, I never said to anybody but I I, oh, I think I threw a piece of that glow-in-the-dark paracord with everyone I think I, I'm not sure but I might forget on some but I think I put the you know the breakaway on it uh, some of them I think all of them got some kind of you know linear beats not like this but some, some kind of linear beats some of them got the whistle and uh, this one I took my time to make it little, just a little extra special. You see I did the paracord with nice thing here and I did the 
what do you call it, lanyard bunch of couple nice different beads along with a really nice one and I put that safety whistle there and shit works perfect actually right here you have a nice example of another myth of the Kydex sheets you know that so overrated positive click on the Kydex sheet it does not have to be there it's do you hear such a positive click? no and yet the knife has perfect retention it's not gonna come out for nothing and it's really nice easy to remove of course it depends on the knife shape but it's just another myth that is a little overrated positive click on a knife same goes with the Falkneven knives you know you have the thermoran handle you're never gonna have positive click because it just the click is just the mechanic motion of how the kydex snaps on itself it doesn't have to be there it makes no sense and that's actually that's uh, one of the downsides of kydex for a lot of people hunters that positive click because it's you know it's loud it you know scares uh, scares the animals they can hear it they can pick it up so just I should put it to that tips and myths video and I think it came out really sweet I don't know what you think but I really like it of course they can probably take it apart put it to the tech lag or something whatever but it's a Christmas gift and I really hope that person will like it not for me it's somebody bought it for somebody and I think they're gonna like it it came out really sweet also Oh okay, guys, got the new got the case for uh, for iPhone. Really loving this case, Macpool. Really, really good sh uh, good case. Really like that. Ordered some new knives. We're gonna have uh, less of the work stuff in upcoming videos. Gonna have a uh, couple knife reviews. I'm getting uh, what did I order? I ordered the mini edges from Sock. I actually got the DDR cheap version, original from Ralph or uh, what is it? Uh, I don't remember the name. The DDR knives. Actually, Merco is making uh, the cheap versions for really good money. For like 30 bucks, you get pretty much a copy of the DDR knives, which are really sweet. I really like them. But you're talking, you know, $300 knives, folding knives. And I found them on Knifeworks, and I just had to buy it. I, w I was so curious to see it. It's gonna be assisted opener. I think with uh, which steel? It's either OS8 or HCR13. Not sure, but that I'm very curious about. And I think I got something more. Oh, I I know I, I have a ZT0400 coming in the mail, so I'm curious about that. Not a big Tanto fan, but I found it on the forums. So we're gonna have some live reviews coming. I think I maybe wanna do some testing of something of some kind. <laughs> and uh, we'll see uh, oh I wanna do some gear reviews I wanna do hopefully you don't mind I have couple pens I wanna share with you that uh, I really like give you some heads up on good deals and stuff like that so thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed it have a good weekend take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself